Good afternoon, honorable WAP students in Ranger Country. Out for a walk with my children before lunch. And uh, just reconnecting with you. Hey, a couple things. Um, very impressed with all of you that took the quiz. Appreciate you uh, taking that and keeping up. Um, answers. Um, who was assassinated by Gavrilo Princip? Archduke Franz Ferdinand of Austria-Hungary, who comprised the Allies at the, after the outbreak of the war. Uh, Great Britain, France, and Russia, among others. Those were the major powers involved in the alliance. Um, and of course, that pulled in, in, in Great Britain, uh, that pulls in a number of, number of territories and colonies, including you know, Australia and New Zealanders, uh, often nicknamed Kiwis in Canada. Um, Central powers included the Ottomans, the Ottoman Empire, uh, Austria-Hungary, and Germany. Number four, what type of warfare took place on the Western Front? Trench warfare, all you need to do is watch um, 1917 and you'll get a taste uh, for, for that warfare. Um, what type of warfare scared the soldiers the most? Poison gas. Obviously, there's a lot of weapons that were new to the battlefront, the machine gun spraying 600 bullets per minute. Um, you had the dreadnought on the, on the high seas. You had the German Unterseebooten. You, have the, you had the introduction of new forms of helmets. Um, you know, the replacement of the pickle halb. Uh, they replaced that with the Stahlhelm on the German side. Um, you had the Tommy British helmet. Um, you had the French Horizon Blue helmet. But the scariest, of course, was the uh, poison gas, usually shelled over into the opposing trench. Yeah, that's pretty cool, huh? Uh, by the uh, by the artillery um, number let's see here number six bloodiest day of the of the war was the Somme um, there was a lot of uh, nasty battles and you can quantify it different ways but uh, you know there's battles like Passchendaele uh, which was the muddiest you had the Somme uh, you had the first and second battles of the Marne you had just uh, absolutely I mean you had the uh, the spring offensive the hundred days battle the Kaiser Schlacht um, all these uh, terrible, terrible days and campaigns uh, that you can, you know, you can go down a rabbit hole uh, looking at them. I highly recommend uh, if you have, if you're into podcasts, you download um, Dan Carlin's Hardcore History, um, the uh, his uh, his podcast, uh, the title of which is escaping me at this very moment as my my children run through the woods, um, is is phenomenal, phenomenal. And it will illustrate the uh, hardships of battle well for you. Uh, number seven, president of the United States during the outbreak of war was Woodrow Wilson. Um, and what precipitated war was the Zimmerman note. It was the note from the German um, German government to <laughs> German government to Mexico that if they got involved with the war, that uh, they would help them reclaim their colonies. <laughs> colonies, um, and then, or excuse me, reclaim their territories. In the United States, the nickname for the American soldiers was the Doughboys uh, because they were raw and untested when they arrived in Europe in 1917 and 1918. After the uh, the uh, war was won by the Allies, they, the the meeting would take place, uh, and the Treaty of Versailles would uh, basically carve up Europe. It would recraft uh, post -war, the post-war world and really would set the stage for World War II. Um, you know, I've, I've always contended that World War I and World War II are simply one war with uh, halftime in between called Global Depression or the Great Depression. Um, and then number 11, sadly, very uh, connected to what we're living through right now, the uh, deadlier than, than, than uh, World War I, killing up to 50 million people, was uh, the Spanish flu of 1918. Um, it actually was first identified uh, in, in Kansas at a military base, but uh, the Spanish newspapers were the first to really cover it, and so it got it, it uh, accrued itself the name the Spanish flu. Anyhow, uh, I'm going to take a look at your MCQs next uh, as it closes at noon. Um, and just know that uh, a word on the side about the AP College Board, I'm still trying to process everything. Uh, the administration... Um, and our, our uh, administrators that are in charge of AP College Board testing are taking a look now at all of our capabilities. Uh, I'm going to have a, more information for you on Monday. Um, remember, we're going to improvise, adapt, and overcome. We're going to get through this. We're going to be just fine. And, uh, you know, your hard work, your fastidious 
uh, nature is all going to be put to the test in due time. We just need to be patient. And uh, what I'm going to try to um, what I'm going to try to uh, do on Monday and keep an eye out is I'm going to try to have a 10. 30, I'll go 10.30, a 10.30 a.m. Zoom meeting where anybody and everybody that wants to meet up, wants to chat, uh, can, and we can uh, take a look at uh, what's going on and just kind of connect over this Zoom. So if you haven't, download the app, Zoom. Uh, you can also, I think, uh, get it on your computers, and um, we will connect through uh, that means. But keep an eye out for that invitation, 10.30 a.m. Zoom on Monday. Um, but I'm going to keep up these videos to keep you informed. And I appreciate your upbeat attitude and positive nature. And if there's something going on in your life right now that, uh, that exceeds your capabilities as far as connecting, that's okay. Right now, we are in uh, uncharted waters. We, this, is, this is, I mean, I don't want to say this is World War I level stuff or World War II, but that's uh, on the vast scale of how this is affecting our society and individuals and families. It is. So if you have something going on in your family and in your life that... Uh, you know, puts uh, schoolwork and connecting through Zoom and Google Classroom on the back burner, so be it. We'll be fine. We will get through this. Um, but again, I'll reconnect on uh, tomorrow. I'll send out, a, I'm going to send this out daily. This is a daily plan to connect with you. And uh, hopefully we're meeting each other in person much sooner than later. All right. Signing off from Ranger Country, uh, Brad Anderson, as we uh, head down the path and uh, go through the obstacle course here at Streamside Point that I've set up for my children in the woods. So signing off, Brad Anderson, this is Ranger Country.